Running Guild Wars 2 on 60 FPS in every single game mode is almost impossible, even for high-end PCs. But in this quick guide, I want to show you how you can get the most FPS just by min-maxing your in-game settings and optimizing your hardware if you can do that. There are two points. First, you can maximize the in-game settings. And secondly, you can maximize your hardware settings. So like Filthy Casual pointed out, Guild Wars 2 is mostly bottlenecked by the CPU. Guild Wars 2 runs on a really old engine. And this engine is single core focused. This means it's mostly CPU heavy. The graphic card doesn't really matter. Of course, if you have a good one, this helps, but it's not crazy in the amount of frames you get. You get way more frames by having a really high-end CPU that is also really good in a single core performance. If you have a really multi-core, really high-end CPU, it does not help that much. Of course it does, they try to improve it, but it's more single core focused. So if you have a single core that is really good, that helps way more than having multiple ones. Really important. When it comes to uh, in-game settings, that's what I want to talk next about. There are a lot of graphic settings that you could tune down to get more FPS out of the game, but it will look worse. Yeah, that's the downgrade, but, and that's the important part. There are two settings that are extremely high impact, not on the look, but more on the FPS side. So if you want to get more FPS, especially in World vs. World or Open World, then set the character model limit to lowest. This will instantly increase your frames by quite a large number because you will not now not render every single NPC, not every single yeah, even player anymore. That's really important. So I always set that to lowest when I'm in World vs. World Zerg fights or if I'm just in PvE most of the time. That increases definitely really high amount of um, things. Shadows is also really important. If uh, not really important, but can be important. So shadows and reflections. Those, those are typically the things that you can turn down. But one thing that I also want to mention is effect LOD. Limit detail of particle effects. You should tick that box when you are in open world, when there are many people around you, like in, PV, uh, in World vs. World, then you should tick that box, not only to decrease the amount of strain on your hardware, but also on your eyes. So that would be my settings if I want to have more frames in an open world scenario. As soon as I'm in PvP, I swap that to this setting because I want to see all my enemies, not only maybe the players, but also the, all their minions and render them. So that's why I set it to medium. And I want to see every single attack that is casted because there are not that many casted in PvP. And it's very important that you see every single one of them because only then you can dodge them. If you can't see them, you can't dodge them. Or it's very hard to dodge them. So that's my tips. If that doesn't help, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what your PC, maybe you have something open in the background or it's you are just in an area that has a lot of people because that's also, I can show it to you. If I, I'm currently in World vs. World, 160 FPS with the settings. If I go to Mistlock Sanctuary, where there is actually not that much map to render, but a lot of people standing around. If I have that settings that I just showed you with the medium character model limit, I get way less frames. And my PC is, I would say, medium tier. It's not high end, but it's also not low end. So I'm getting 60 FPS now because I render so many people. Maybe 70. So it's probably in the range of you. So Guild Wars 2 is just not made for being really high FPS when there are so many people around you. But if you set the lowest, the thing to lowest, it definitely helps. So now we're at 70. If I, I increase it, I get go to 90. So it's it's helping a lot when it comes to this. Final tip, I also know from people that have a really high-end PC that they are still locked to almost 60 FPS only. That is sometimes because of the profile of your graphics card. So if it's set to eco profile, it might decrease the amount of FPS you can get. So if you found this quick guide helpful, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more helpful guides like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.